Do you absolutely have to press your tofu? I don't know, I wanna test that theory. I kinda don't think you have to. All I've heard my whole life about tofu is that it's like a sponge and it sucks up all of these flavors. But have you ever experienced that? I haven't. I don't think that really exists. I'm kinda wondering if that 15 to 20 minutes prep time where you're pressing your tofu actually does anything that's worthwhile. So I bought a bunch of tofus. We're gonna press them, not press them. We're gonna bake them, we're gonna sear them. We're gonna make a bunch of versions of tofu and see does it actually make a difference. Now I also want to try that sucking up that spongy method and see if that actually works. If you press your tofu and throw it in some marinade, is it gonna taste any better than not pressing it and throw it in marinade? I don't think so. But before we get started pressing our tofus, let's just talk about a few tofu differences that we're gonna be trying today. I didn't buy all of the tofus, I just bought some general ones. First, silken tofu. Now we're not gonna be using silken in our test, but I did wanna talk about it, I didn't wanna leave it out. Silken tofu is your soft, non-coagulated, non-block style tofu. This really does work best when you're doing like sauces with it, when you're blending it up in a smoothie. You can cook this and fry it, but you just have to be very gentle with it. It's gonna be very soft and squishy. Probably not the best for meat replacements. Then we start with our block tofus, which are coagulated tofus. This is the most common tofu. This is what most people know. These come in different varieties from soft, firm, and extra firm. Your extra firm tofu is usually the most popular. It's the star of most shows. It's the meatiest. It's the one that's the densest with the most bite. The extra firm tofu, again, I don't believe it needs to be pressed. I've always pressed tofu, and now I'm wondering if you don't have to. Now, as far as tofu presses, there's a bunch of different variations. People will use books, they use just like rags with a bunch of weights on them, a lot of times they use skillets, sometimes bigger than this one. Or you can get tofu presses. There's a bunch of different styles of tofu press. The one that I had for a long time is like this like screw style. Essentially you just throw the tofu in the middle, you screw it down and you keep squeezing it for 15, 20 minutes until the water kind of pours out. My new favorite tofu press that I'm wondering if I even needed is the tofu bud. Now there's a bunch of different variations of this one, but this one's really nice because because it just has a little spring loaded panel inside that kind of helps press the tofu together and it is in about the same size as your tofu block so it really helps press out that excess liquid. This is probably one of the easiest and best tofu presses that I've ever used. Uh, with the screw style tofu press you can kind of squeeze a little bit too tight and you might crack your tofu and if you're trying to make fancy blocks of tofu that doesn't always work. You want it to be one big solid block, which is where this guy shines. Okay, to test these theories, I bought two of every one of these tofus. I bought two softs, two firms, and two extra firm tofus. We're gonna open up one of each right now, and we're going to press each one of these. I'm gonna be pressing them all in the tofu bud, so that way they all get pressed an even amount for an even amount of time. That way there's no variation in the way that they get pressed. Let's go ahead and get those drained and pressed now. We'll be back in about 20 minutes. So we had 107.7 milliliters of liquid that was pressed out of the tofu, the soft tofu. So the firm tofu came to 107.6 milliliters, almost identical to the soft tofu. That's pretty interesting. Now, I've never used this boxed style of extra firm tofu. I've never used it. Um, this was a first for me. But this tofu, even though it was extra firm and it didn't say silken, um, I looked at it three or four times after I took it out, but it is definitely more like a silken tofu than your regular, like this is firm tofu. Now we're gonna move on with the rest of these tests, just doing soft and firm. I'm gonna get rid of this extra firm. There's kind of like a tofu shortage going on here in Orlando. I checked out a few of my local grocery stores. None of them had them. Whole Foods didn't have any. It was kind of strange. I went to my local Asian market. That's where I found these. That's where I get a lot of the tofus a lot of times anyways. But they didn't have any extra firm tofu in the box style. All they had in the brick style, all they had was soft and firm. So that's what we're gonna complete the rest of these tests with. We're just gonna kind of toss out this extra firm or you know, just eat it how it is for now. <laughs> so to move on with this step, we're gonna cut our soft and firm into three slices. This is our pressed tofu, and we're gonna cut our unpressed tofu into three slices. We're gonna marinate one slice from the soft, firm, pressed, 
and one slice from the soft and firm unpressed in a marinating liquid, a soy sauce liquid that I'm gonna make. Pretty simple, I just want a really basic marinade. We're gonna be doing one cup of soy sauce. I'm using a low sodium soy sauce. Anytime I use a lot of soy sauce, I like to use low sodium. I just don't think you need that much. And you also probably wanna remove your drizzle cap because that'll help get that full cup that you need. Along with one cup of rice vinegar and a quarter cup of maple syrup. Okay, so we have an even amount of marinade in each one of our tofus. Let's see, does the tofu suck up marinade like a sponge? I don't think it's going to. We'll find out here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and let these sit for 30 minutes. The house is nice and cool right now. That's why these are sitting out. It's also kind of helping them kind of, I guess, dry a little bit more evenly. Uh, but I don't think it's gonna really affect the test at this moment. So yeah, 30 minutes, we'll be right back and we're gonna start cooking. Hey gang, real quick, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Mudwater. Mudwater is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs. Now, I loved my coffee before. I was a coffee nut. I don't know if you've seen some of my Instagram stories where I talk about coffee, but I know that I can't have it like I used to. I can't drink five cups a day every day. But now, I drink mud every morning. With one-seventh the caffeine of a cup of coffee, you get the energy without the anxiety. No jitters, no crashes, and you can drink mud water all day without affecting your sleep. All you do is add a tablespoon of hot water and then add whatever you would normally add to your coffee, a sweetener, a creamer. They have like coconut creamers that are really good. I drink my coffee black, so I drink my mud water black. Mudwater sent me their starter kit, which is awesome. The kit includes 30 serving tin of mud, a USB rechargeable frother, and a free sample of their vegan coconut creamer. It includes things like cacao, chai, lion's mane, and chaga, and cordyceps, which offers a huge range of benefits from your mood, focus, physical performance, and immune system. It's 100% USD certified organic, vegan, gluten-free, along with being Whole30 and kosher. So gang, do yourself a favor and try Mudwater today and get 15% off their starter kit just by clicking the link in the description below. Mudwater, thanks for sponsoring my video and giving me a coffee alternative that I absolutely love. Okay, so these have marinated for 30 minutes. Now, let's get ready to bake. That's gonna be our first set of tofus. We're gonna bake them. I'm going to take the flags out with the stickers, uh, but I'm going to put uh, toothpicks in the pressed versions. Uh, I'm gonna keep the soft on the left side of the baking tray and the firm on the right side of the baking tray. We're gonna set it on some parchment paper and we're gonna pat these dry before we bake them. I wanna make sure that they're padded and they have it kind of nice and dry on the outside so they have some sort of crisp. We're gonna bake them for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. So we have our marinated and not marinated and then we have our pressed versions and not pressed versions. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven for 30 minutes, like I said. And then after about 15 minutes, we only need to cook these for 15 minutes, we're gonna use a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna make it pretty hot. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan and then we're going to fry, pan fry, each one of these pieces, the pressed and not pressed and marinated, not marinated. And I know these are kind of large slices. I just wanna get a nice crispy edge to them. And then we'll just try them in smaller bits as we go to try them. Uh, but I'm really excited the way this is gonna come out. I think we're not gonna notice a huge difference between the pressed and not pressed. Uh, we'll see though, we'll see. Okay, so here it is. We have our firm pressed tofu, fried, marinated, fried, baked and marinated. We have our firm marinated, fried, baked and marinated, and our soft, pressed, marinated, burp, blah, 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 all cooked the same way. So in the order is our pressed tofu, our non-pressed, these are our firms, our softs, we have our pressed and non-pressed. Or I wanna see if there's a difference between the marinated pressed and unpressed. Okay. So this one's pressed, and right off the bat, you can see that like no marinade made it into the tofu. So here you go. I know this is a huge piece of tofu, okay. but you can just take a small bite if you want. <laughs> it's up to you. Cheers. Mm, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now this is our firm. Okay. Not pressed. I just had to put the, the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I think it's the same. It's exactly the same. <laughs> I didn't notice a bit of difference. Mm -hmm. If the marinade soaked better in the pressed or non-pressed, mm -hmm. they both tasted exactly the yeah. same. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving over to our soft tofu, pressed and not pressed in the marinade, just to see if the marinade went through any difference in the softer tofu. Okay. 
I don't think it's any different. Flavor is the same. Now let's go to the soft unpressed. This one's not as good. Oh, I think it tastes exactly the same. I barely taste the marinade. It's crazy. You don't barely taste the marinade. Opinion. In my, in my corner that we cut off, that's what okay. happened. So <laughs> I'm going to say they're about the same, but this one is a mixed result. Let's move on to the texture. So in this one, we have two pieces of tofu. We have firm pressed and non-firm pressed, both pan fried. We're going to start off with the firm pressed. I've memorized the texture, yeah. <laughs> so now this one, this one is our firm, not pressed. There's not that much of a difference. Mine feels firmer. Mine feels more firm too. I was like a little worried to say that, but mine's actually more firm. I wonder if it's because the water makes it more of like there's more in it, so that makes it feel more firm. So the firm, non-pressed tofu <laughs> is firmer than the pressed. So here's our soft pressed. It's a little softer. It's soft, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unpressed, any, <laughs> any different. different. So it's softer, but it has the same skin, mm -hmm. like the same chewy, crispy outside, but it almost feels, I, I like it better. I like them both. For different, but it's not like it's um like way juicier. It's just softer. It feels know? juicier to me. Oh, okay. So now we're gonna go back to focusing on flavor again. Okay. This version is the firm pressed marinated. Hmm. It's good. Right. Now let's see if pressing it actually made a difference and try the unpressed. Okay, boom. It still tastes the same. Tastes the same. The press didn't soak up any more flavor than the unpressed. Correct. So let's see if the soft goes all the way, does the same thing. This is all over the place with this test, but I think we're proving a point. It's a little less, slightly okay. less. So in both scenarios, the soft sucked up more flavor when it was pressed than non-pressed. Do you feel the same? Um, to me, it feels, to me, it feels like they taste exactly okay. the same. I can't tell the difference. But I do think it's a little, just slightly less. Mm -hmm. If you can tell the difference, we're going to allow that to be weighted a few points. I still feel like my whole point of not pressing tofu is, is holding true. Okay. Okay. This is firm pressed. It's a different type of firmness. but it's I, You can tell the difference between the two? Yeah, I almost feel like the bite into it is almost like more easy, like more smooth, but the firmness is the same. Does that make sense? Mm. To me, they taste exactly the same. Hold on a second. Close your eyes. Here you go. Take a bite of this one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hand it in the same awkward way. Take a bite of this one. Which one was pressed <laughs> and which one wasn't pressed? I would say the first one you gave me was not pressed, but I'm guessing. So the first one that I gave Monica was the pressed version. <laughs> so you can't tell. I guess I can't. I don't know. <laughs> they just were so close. I just didn't think it was possible. <laughs> not going to tell Monica which one it is. I think I have my conclusion. Okay. I think it's a waste of time to press tofu. It probably is. Every book, every recipe, every time you make tofu, people talk about pressing it in everything. But in almost every scenario, except the soft tofu, mm -hmm. which, how it often do you use soft tofu? Not that often, and it wasn't like that big of a difference from the original that it, you know, that it's like you need to take the time to press it. So if you're using firm or extra firm tofu, I don't think it's, I don't think you need to press your tofu. Mm -mm. I think it's a big waste of time. So that's what we got. That's, in my opinion, what this test proved. I would love to hear what you have to say about it, what you have to think about my testing methods. But I believe with firm and extra firm tofus, there's no difference. And there's people outside blowing lawn equipment all over the place, so we're gonna get going. Okay. I think that was it. I think we've proved my point. That was fun. Yeah, no more pressing for me. All right.